Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I okay. can. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Nice. Better than yesterday? Oh, yesterday. <laughs> Fue un día negro, migrañoso negro. It was a difficult day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yesterday. Yeah, this week has been really challenged. Real challenge, actually. All right. Some yes. people say good evening and hello on the chat. So you may answer. So hello, Andrea, Gracia, Stephanie, Douglas, Ricardo, Joanna, Hector. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. It's almost the end. <laughs> so resist just a little bit more. Okay, it's just this. Well, actually this week, just this class and tomorrow's class, right? And then we got Independence Day and then we got the last class on next Monday, all right? So, which is really important as well because you have um, a survey to answer on the last class. So that's really good as well. Okay. Well, I hope you had a wonderful day. I hope you had a good day. I hope you had a productive and interesting day. Well, there's not much I can, I can talk about it. Just the fact that the students at schools and high schools are celebrating and commemorating oh, 202 years of independence. And of course, you know, I work with teenagers, so they are really into those activities. They are into the dances, into the march. So that's what's going on in my work. All right. Well, today's class is the session number 18. Give me a second. I think I already opened the presentation. Just make sure. Let me just make sure. Today is Wednesday, right? Wednesday, Wednesday? Okay. Yes. 13. Yes. The 13th of September, yes. The 13th, almost the 15th. <laughs> oh my God. So at the end of this session, participants will be able to use prepositions of place in our practice form. So we're having this because we already introduced the prepositions of place, but there are some other prepositions of places. So it's not just in, on, at. We got between, next to, opposite, right? So we got on the right, on the left, right? So we have some other prepositions of place as well. And of course, that's what we're going to be doing on this session. Besides, just the reminder for everybody to complete the platform. It's a very important part of this module, of this course. Because that's the methodology, okay? You attend the video conferences, you have the videos, you watch the videos, you review the topics, vocabulary, you practice, and so on and so forth. But then you also work on the assignments, on the, let's say, on the activities and exams that you have on the platform. Okay. One second, just let me get the attendance. Is this one okay? Is everybody connected? No, no, not yet. We still miss because I don't see Christina. I was gonna say Christina, but she's not here yet. Right? Yeah, I see some other people. Let's see the next one on the list is Andrea. Present. Hi, how are you? Better? You finish your assignments? 
Okay. Then we have Brian. Who is not connected yet? All right. Give me just one second. Just need to use this. All right. Christian Alexander. Is here, teacher. Hi. Okay. David. Not yet. Doris. Present. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. All right, Douglas. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Stephanie. Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. All right, then we have Francisco. Present teacher, good okay. evening. Good evening. Uh, I am in traffic. Uh, really? In case I don't answer. All right, you're still going home. All right, thanks for reporting. Okay. Gracias. Present. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Hector. Present teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. Joanna. Present. Good evening. Jose Antonio. Jose Antonio, not here yet. Okay. Carla. Present teacher. Hello, good night. Hello, hello. Laura. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Miguel. Miguel Angel. Hello, here. Nelson. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Ricardo. Present teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Wendy. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. And good evening. Wilmer. Present teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Nice. Once again. Okay. Give me just one second. I just need to open the PDF manual. For a reason, just don't have it ready. Just go to the bottom where the unit four is. Yes, we have the study. And actually, this is the, our third lesson from this unit. Okay, nice. We studied there is, there are yesterday, and we described the places that you have around, surrounding the place where you work, right? So I think we didn't finish an exercise. Let me just make sure I have this exercise somewhere right here. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure if, if you remember the example. Let me find the example. I guess were the last two images I shared with you yesterday and we were not able to double check, double check the answers. So, wait a second. Uh -huh. Here I found it. In this one as well. So, let me see. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it right here. So, give me just one second. I might use this one.
All right. Yeah, I bet it's this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I think you remember the activity I was telling you about, right? Yes, we are here. And for the propositions of place, right? So using there is, there are, we use also prepositions. For example, on this exercise, I, let me see. Draw, I will draw a circle probably. That would be better. Okay. So on this conversation, the person asked, Excuse me, is there a laundromat in this neighborhood? And the other person says, Yes, there's a laundromat on Main Street. We have one preposition. And then says, Next to the supermarket, right? We have, yes, there is a laundromat on Main Street next to the supermarket, right? So that is the answer according to this picture, of course. So we were working on this yesterday and for you to refresh, okay? Because you were practicing and then at the end we were not able to say what was the right answer for each of them. Then with the same example, with this one, I told you that you were going to practically repeat the same conversation, but according to the picture, right? So it's the same format using the same question, but substituting for the places that you see on each picture. For example, here says, excuse me, is there a laundromat in this neighborhood? But in this case, you have to say, excuse me, is there a drugstore on this neighborhood? Yes. And then the other person has to say, yes, there is. Uh-huh, there is a drugstore on Main Street. Opposite the church yes is that correct right i got okay. it nice on the second picture the same you follow the same example excuse me is there a clinic on this neighborhood and the other person said yes there's a clinic on main street between the oh. bank barbershop the barbershop right so yes there's a clinic on main street it's between the bank and the barbershop right and then so on you have to pay attention because the other places might be on central avenue central avenue state street and state street right and you have to ask for the place that you have the word at the bottom, right? So excuse me, is there a department store in this neighborhood? Yes, there's a department store on Central Avenue. ¿Cómo se diría aquí la preposición? Across from. Across from the police station? Next to behind. 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 Ah. Next to probably... Si tuviéramos la entrada por acá, la police station. Pero usually we say behind or around the corner. Around the corner from the police station. All right. And this one, we say, excuse me, is there a hair salon in this neighborhood? Yes, there's a hair salon on Central Avenue. Uh-huh. Next yes. to? Next to the bakery. Right, this is easy. So uh -huh. I'm here, sorry, because I have problems with my internet. Oh my goodness. 
All right. Next one. Excuse me. Is there a? Mm -hmm. Number five. Bookstore. Is there a bookstore in this neighborhood? Yes. Uh, it's the uh, State Street. Oh. There's a bookstore on State Street. Uh -huh. Um, no sé se entre. Between. Between, between, uh, between the, the coffee, coffee, coffee mate, sorry. You can say between the health club and the cafeteria. Health club. Mm -hmm. The caf cafeteria. <laughs> Usually the same, very similar to Spanish, cafeteria. And yes. how do you say, eh, como... ¿Cómo se dicen esos que están en carretera? Como que va, es donde sirven el desayuno y waffles y todo eso. <risa> Café. Pero yo, yo, o sea, no, no se dice, o sea, sé que es un restaurante, pero no se dice así, sino que tiene otra palabra. Diners, no café. Diners, café. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right. And the last one, excuse me, is there a post office in this neighborhood? Yes, there's a post yes. office on the State Street. On State Street. In front of train station. In front of, across from, opposite, right? We usually say opposite or across from, porque hay una calle de por medio. Si no hubiese nada que literalmente estuviera, like in front, in front, como en la misma manzana, then could be in front of. Yeah. ¿Alguna duda o así les había quedado yesterday? Yep. Yep. All right, all correct. Sure. Okay. Great. All right. So in this lesson, yeah, beside uh, naming and saying what's surrounding your job or your workplace or your company your office whatever you work on this lesson it's i mean let's say more focus because you're going to be using there is that art but ahora see inside the job inside the company inside the office como que es lo que hay en su oficina en su empresa yeah como describir las facilities como que hay una cafetería, como que hay una sala de reuniones, como que hay un lobby, como que hay piscinas, áreas verdes, qué sé yo. Yes. Yeah. Of course, sería grandioso si pudiéramos tener pictures, como de las instalaciones donde ustedes trabajan. But I know that's, como se dice, too ambitious. <laughs> so, on this lesson, you will describe how my and others working places and areas look like. O sea, cómo se ven, cómo lucen el área de trabajo mío y también de mis otros compañeros, right? So describe how my and others working places and area look like. As a classmate, which places are in your working place? How does your working area look like? And share. Tienen que preguntarle a su partner cómo se ven las áreas de trabajo de ellos y describir ¿okay? cómo se ven. Obviously, todos tenemos áreas de trabajo diferentes, right? We don't work at the same place. Or, like, you might think, this is my only job. No. I love teaching online. And I enjoy teaching from home, but I do have a job from seven to five. And I work in the facilities in this place every single day from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Para los que creo que no les he contado, I work for a foundation, una fundación de responsabilidad social empresarial from Empresas Adoc. 
So I work in the Programa Empresarial Superate. Maybe some people have an idea, maybe you don't, which is totally fine. So I work in this foundation from Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. in the morning to 5 p.m. and sometimes later. So, ¿qué hay dentro de esta fundación, dentro de las instalaciones de esta fundación? There are, well, there are actually four classrooms, but there are two computer rooms. De una fundación, obviamente es un grupo seleccionado de estudiantes porque te dan becas, entonces solo hay cuatro classrooms. Y de esos dos, two of them son computer labs. There are two computer labs. There is a lobby. There is a library. There are, let's see, three offices. Two for the principal and the vice principal and the other one for the psychologist. There is a teacher's room. There is a hall. There are tables. There is a cafeteria. There is a soccer field. There is a main entrance. There are many tables and chairs. There are many computers in the computer's lab. There is a principal's office. In the principal's office, there are some chairs. There is a big desk. There is I think there is a computer there, are about two or three monitors. There is an air conditioner. Les estoy describiendo como las instalaciones del lugar donde yo trabajo. Entonces, eso es lo que necesito que hagan. Empiecen a pensar qué hay en las instalaciones donde ustedes están, desde el lobby, la oficina, los departamentos. Eh, también pueden describir qué hay en cada uno de los, de los espacios que dicen. Por ejemplo, si les fuera a describir eh, The Teacher's Room, in the teacher's room, to start with, there are two restrooms, one for ladies, one for men. There is a coffee station. There are five desks, I guess. There are computers. There are two bookcases. Sorry. There are a lot of books. There are some boxes. There is a water oasis. There is an air conditioner. There are some windows. What else? Let me see. There is a door. So those are the things that we have. But here they give you an example. So read the description of Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar workplace. Can you guess where they work? There is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. So this, there is for one object, there are four Luda, right? So think about it. Traten de, obviamente, por la falta de vocabulario, pues no van a escribir como cada cosita, pero al menos lo más representativo y al menos cinco oraciones de lo que hay, you should be able to do it. Y si alguien tiene alguna question, pues háganlo. Questions? Vocabulary questions? Mm -hmm. Not for the moment, teacher. All right. Great. Bye. Escriban las oraciones para que cuando las tengan que contar a sus padres no se les haga difícil. So you don't struggle. You already have the ideas of what to mention. Teacher, ¿verdad que un superate ad hoc está por Plaza Mundo Soyapango? Exactly. Ese es el único superate ad hoc. Los otros son superate de otras empresas. Ah, es eh, que yo vivo a, a como a dos o un minuto. Really? ¿En Sierra? Yes. Oh, my God. So maybe, maybe you have seen my students. I have students from Sierra Morena. Actually, it's 
on Monte Carmelo Street, like one, let me see, two, three, like three blocks away from Plaza Mundo. Ya están ready para describir lo que tiene sus instalaciones, sus offices, sus companies. Yes. Almost. Yes. All right, good. Good idea. No, uh, um, pues dijeron de que teníamos que hablar nada más de, de las áreas de nuestro trabajo. Ok. Eh. Que había alrededor. Vamos a ver. En mi caso... There are um there are eight decks. Ocho escritorios. There are there are okay. Hola. Ay. Hola. No sé si empezamos con las que ya tenemos. No las tengo anotadas, pero podemos ir viendo ahí. Que cada quien mencione una y así, tal vez vamos a acordar. Ah, okay. Vaya, no sé quién inicia. Eh, yo dije que there are a dex. Dex. Sí. Okay. In my workplace, there are two main rooms. There are the ten offices. There is a lobby area. There is a cafeteria. There is a parking. And there is um park también. There is um a computer. Mm -hmm. There is um two air a conditioner. Mm -hmm. Es que es demasiado grande como para describirlo porque 
in my workplace there, se, there is a high porque school. se div, ajá, se divide en dos edificios y cada edificio tiene tres niveles mm. entonces ustedes las pueden ir mientras yo las termino o no sé si no sé cómo esperar sí si quiere en todo lo que como él ya las tiene, que las diga él y las anotamos. <risa> en base a... Ah, pues yo, pues... It's fine. No. Ok, ahí first. No, eh... como dijo que tenía seis, ya las terminó bien. Ah, ok. Bueno. Eh, en focus is a... No, yo también ya las terminé. Ok. En focus is a building for... And three Focus. level, three level, see, yes. In the first level, uh, there is a huge parking lot. Lo mismo que estaba en el ejemplo, un parque enorme o grande. Uh, there is a nice Ay, perception. Primero dijo que había, espérame. Hola. Sí. Primero dijo que había elevadores, va. No. 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 Ah, el parqueo fue el primero. Yes, there is a whole parking lot. Yo tengo algunas, pero no sé si están bien. Sí, las. Ok. Eh, there is a... Ok, this is my office. There are comfortable places. Mm -hmm. There is a kitchen. There is a beautiful garden. This is my favorite place with many flowers. There okay. are office. There is a, an administration. There is a park in a small. <laughs> it's, it's very sad because everyone have a car. So, um, in the morning, the parking is full. In the afternoon, is full. Eh. All day, <laughs> the parking is full. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bueno, um, my workplace is a three floor building. Building. And, and my office is on the third level, on the third floor. In my office, I, there is a windows, there is a computer laptop. Um, around my office are administrative office. Some, some administrative office. In the building, in the building from, no, no, there is a building from my office. And this building are a dinner, cafeteria, pardon, and a park. Uh, uh, only, only.
Good evening. All right, we're all done. Okay. Let's see, at least we're gonna have a representative of each of the rooms. The first group was Alexander, David and Francisco. I think Francisco is driving, so. David and Alexander, can you describe your workplace? What there is, what there are in your workplace, please? My goodness. Okay, hold on. I need a second. Uh, hi, teacher. I understand uh, my group. And listen. Dijo que esperar un momentito porque se está haciendo algo, creo. Ok. Sorry, sorry. I was closing the windows because it started raining. Ok. Francisco, you were describing the places that, I mean, the things that you have in your workplace. Was it Francisco or Alexander? Eh, I am Alexander. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, there is my job in my office is very, is very big. Mm -hmm. This is like because uh, I can take naps. Mm -hmm. And there is my workplace to start with a sales room where is the, the equipment and uh, Spare parts, uh, wells, uh, silar locate. There is the Kaiser, que, where, teacher, where I just say caja, cajero. ATM? What? ATM. There is an ATM. ATM. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is an ATM. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the next uh, room, there is 
tiny service. Mm -hmm. eh, later, eh, the chief office and next to my office. Mm -hmm. Very eh, good. Thanks. Excellent. Nice. David, I don't know if you're describing your workplace. Francisco. Oh, Francisco, go ahead. You're not driving uh, anymore. <laughs> there are uh, six under. They are uh, 20 offices in Edge Anger. There is a smoking area for airline mm -hmm. representative and worker. Mm -hmm. There are too many planes in the hangar. Mm -hmm. That's all. Finish. All right, very good. So we were waiting for David, but I think he's not available right now. So in room two, we got Brian and Douglas. Yo, hey. Go ahead. Okay. There are uh uh a clear I don't know. There are uh well, teacher, I'm sorry, uh, mm -hmm. paréntesis. Uh, Douglas me estaba diciendo que bodega se decía de una manera, mm -hmm. pero no sé cómo, usualmente, cómo, cómo se utiliza esa palabra. Warehouse. Warehouse, mm -hmm. siempre. Bye. At least that's the most standard word I know. Maybe if there is a specific, for a specific purpose, there might be another name, but I don't know. Okay. Well, there is a warehouse. Mm -hmm. There is um, um different equipment to to do um, not to add with your laptop or your desktop. Mm -hmm. uh, there there is a memory RAM. There is uh, graphic cards. At uh, different cases, mm -hmm. there is a laptops. There are laptops. No, sure, there are laptops. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are UPS. Mm -hmm. And uh, a sales, sales place. Sales okay. place, is that right? Sales. Uh -huh. Sales. Nice. Like stores. Uh -huh. Es como el, como el piso de venta sería. La sala de venta. Uh -huh. Ok. All right. Sales rooms will be. All right. Ok. Thank Nancy. you. Fine. How about Douglas? We work in the same place. Oh, your partner? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. But, yep. Yeah. yeah. There are a lot of devices. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a cafeteria area to take lunch. Uh -huh. is is small. Mm -hmm. There are four computers to employees. Mm -hmm. There are two air conditioner. Mm -hmm. There is a bathroom. Mm -hmm. There is a warehouse. Mm -hmm. uh, and the and the salt store. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, thank you. I didn't know you worked at the same place. Oh, maybe you have mentioned it, but I forgot it. All right. <laughs> Andrea, Cristina, and Wilbur. There are some people that are not able to listen because of the heavy rain. Actually, it's raining a lot here as well. So mm -hmm. if someone is not available, don't worry. Because I, I am reading the messages. Uh, with, I mean, some people with connection problems. 
Yes. No electricity at Mr. Hector's house. Uh, a strong, heavy rain in Wendy's house. Andrea interference. And she cannot listen. So probably that's why. Cristina and Wilmer? Hi. Hi. You want to describe things? Uh, Okay. In your uh, and facilities. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I like. Well, there is a ping pong table. Mm -hmm. Oh really? <laughs> yes. <gasps> no, Bruce, they don't <laughs> There is a swimming pool. Me va a decir. Oh really? Uh, uh, there are uh, six offices. Mm -hmm. uh, the, there is a parking lot for mm -hmm. customer para clientes. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a parking lot for employees, em, uh, employees para em, empleados. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, yeah. How do you say uh, comedor? A cafeteria. Uh, what? Or a dining room. Okay. Eh, uh, have a uh, para empleado. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 there are two depart departments. One department. from one from sal sal uh, sales. other. There is uh, a sales department and there uh, is sales or the from. Energy and in, in the in the ingeniería. Engineering department. Engineer, sí. Mm -hmm. eh, solo eso. That's all. Sí. That's all. Re remind me the name of your company. Mm. All right. No solo eso. Who's next? Oh, we got Christina, I think. Hi, teacher. Hi. In my workplace, it's very big. Mm -hmm. It has two buildings. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, just uh -huh, exactly more specific. Um my department mm -hmm. mm, there are a computer oh, wow. there are a desk there are a chair mm -hmm. there are two area condition mm -hmm. there are two parking come on there are a kitchen. There is a kitchen. Yes. Wow. Um that's all the principal. That's all. All right, no problem. There is a kitchen, that's interesting. <laughs> because yeah. in, in my workplace, at least in the teacher's room, there is only coffee station, there's a coffee maker, there's microwave a microwave. Uh-huh. There's a microwave oven and there is a refrigerator, but there's not a kitchen. And también, también. My goodness. What's the name of your company? Hola. What's the name of your company? Akaku. Ah, yes, you are from La Unión, too. <laughs> yes. All right. In the last, no, this is not the last one. It's one before the last one. Gracia, Laura, and Nelson. Thank you. Who's able to participate? Teacher, yo también estaba en ese grupo. Lo que pasa es que me estaba sacando el, la plataforma. Really? Oh, my. That's how you start. Okay. Alguien del grupo cuatro, group four, somebody. Si gusta la digo yo. Okay. Go ahead. 
By there is a MTM in the lobby. Mm -hmm. There are ten computers. There is a cafeteria very nice. There is a printer, a very fast printer. No right. There are many chairs to wait. All right. Like a so waiting solamente. area, como un área de espera. Eh, no, muchas sillas de espera. Ajá, como para esperar los customers. Ajá. Because it's a bank, sí. right? Sí, es en Banco Atlántida. All right, nice. Great. Anybody else from this group? Sí. Good, good, good. I like that. Mm. Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, focus is a uh, building for three level. Three levels building? Yes. Uh huh. And the first level, uh, there's a huge parking lot. Oh wow. There is a. It's a nice reception. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the second level, uh, uh, there is a relaxing gaming room. Mm -hmm. There is a large cafeteria, cafeteria mm -hmm. with a huge windows or big windows. Mm -hmm. And the third, le third level, there is a operation area. Mm -hmm. it, it is the is the place when the Agents take a calls mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, one uh, ATM. An ATM on the first, second, or third floor? And third. On the third floor? Yes. So focus is similar to a call center? A call center. Oh, really? Yes. In English or Spanish? Uh, Both. Ambos? Both. Both. Really? Yes. Where is it located? On Olympica? Uh, no, uh, Reforma. Calle de la Reforma. Oh, Reforma, it's true. Reforma Street. Because mm. on Olympica, there are so many call centers. Oh, many, <laughs> much, much. Yeah, many, many, many. Yes. All right, nice. Very good. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. All right. And the last? I guess it's a Stephanie and Ricardo from the last group. But I guess nobody's available. All right. Well, mostly because people from La Unión are having a lot of issues with the connection, with the internet. Oh my goodness. All right. Give me one second. Just need to close this and open this up. Let me see. Open it up. Some people say I'm not in San Salvador. I have problems with the connection. Okay. okay, I'm going to share a link. I'm going to put it in WhatsApp for you to practice a little bit of this. Let me just put it here and work on these exercises. Then let me know. If you are able to open the link, please.
All right. Would you open the link? Teacher, ya me dejo entrar. Yes. Oh, great. Yes. Nice. It's raining. <laughs> I know it's raining a lot. Actually, I have to close all the windows and doors because it was pretty hot, but then the noise was too loud. All right, great. So work on the exercises and then we're gonna have some time to share our answers or to ask if you still have some doubts, some questions, if you don't have very clear why a certain answer is like that. Puso algo, puso algo en WhatsApp. ¿Cómo dijo? Hay algo en WhatsApp y un link. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ahorita vamos a ver. <ríe> En la primera parte sería de, de llenar los espacios, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá. Sería de irlas contestando si quieres juntos para que avancemos o cada uno, no sé, o una por uno si quieres. Eh, hablamos de la parte dos. De la uno. Es que de la uno. Estoy entrando, Alín. Ah, ok. No yo, yo como entré antes ya la llené, pero igual ah. te sigo esperando. Vaya, bueno, simple vista se ve que la primera sería parte, ¿verdad? Yes. La segunda sería museo. La tercera. 
tercera cinema. 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 Hello. Let's start. Hola. Hay que abrir el link y hay que completar las palabras con las imágenes. Ah, oh, ok. Yo pensé que el link era para, <ríe> para los que no me podían conectar. No. Oh. Ahorita lo vemos. The first one is Park. Park. Mm -hmm. Park, ajá, uh -huh, no había visto Park. Vaya, the second is Museum. Yes. The third is Cinema. Cinema. And the fourth is. Custom. Um, cost, y hay, ah, sí, custom. De la imagen. Arriba te dice. Ah, Ahí están los the, nombres. Ah, ok. Y en el Todo segundo no. sí tienes que decirlo como there is, there are, there is not. Ahí tienes que escoger. Ah, ok. Solo el nombre de, de cada imagen. Entonces. Okay. Okay. Yes, there is. Is there a park opposite the supermarket? Supermarket. Park opposite. Yes, there is. Are there two parks? Park. Mm. No, there aren't. Is there a post office next to other? Post offices. Post offices. Next to auto. auto. No, there isn't. Auto. What? Pero está bien escrito. Is there a post office? Ajá, uh, no, no. No, pero porque yo creo que es el mapa. Ajá, uh -huh, pero no está el café a la par. Post office. There is. The sports there. center no está la, ajá. No, there. Es que is yo creo them. que del, del mapa que tenemos que ver y dice, there is a post office y hay una oficina postal, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, ¿Qué? eso sí. Ah, es que como casi no te escucho, es... creí que ya ibas por la tres. No, por la, por la número A la tres es negativa. Ah, perdón, la prim... es que mi esposo está lloviendo yeah. tan fuerte. Yes, ajá, las primeras sí son positivas. Just Lo único is. que, the number one is, yes, there is. The number two is, two, yes, there are. Tu café, dice, si hay dos cafés, vamos a ver, aquí hay uno. Sí, Ajá. hay dos. Yes, Ajá. yes, there, yes, is, there is, are, there. porque son plus. Ajá, son dos. Sí, son dos. Is there a center next to café, expo center, vamos a ver. No, it's negative, but it's... Uh -huh. No, there no, isn't. Uh -huh. No, there Ahora isn't. vamos con la número cuatro. Are there two supermarkets? Let me see. One supermarket. It's only one. one. I can see more. Yes, it's only one. So the answer no, is no, no. negative. Negative. No, there. no, there. Alright, okay. Is there a hotel next to the bank? 
Oke, okay, okay. how to get? Yes. Yes, there is. Sí, está después del bound. Yes, mm -hmm. there is. Uh, it... We finish, miss. But I have a question. All right, tell me. Eh, why? <laughs> no sé cómo decir lo, de, lo demás, pero ¿por qué todas las que son escritas las tengo malas? Really? Mm -hmm. yes. Correcto. No sé Salen... si es porque ponemos mayúscula, porque no lo ponemos idéntico como está ahí. Pero Salen marcadas en rojo. Malas. Todas salen malas. No, oh, wait. Let me try. Ajá, solo quizá intente poner mayúscula, o sea, tal cual lo, 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 lo digita uno, las tengo, las tenemos malas. Uh -huh. Minúscula la intentaron poner. No, minúsculas no las puse porque como ya mandé la, el resultado. No, lo vuelven a hacer, solo dan refresh. Ah, bueno. Sí, está bien minúscula. Esto es evaluado. No, es practice. Ah. Uy. I'm so scared. Sí, porque estábamos fritos ya. Ay, no. Lo probábamos. No. Sí, va en minúscula. Entonces, en minúscula. Ajá. Vaya. Yes. Thanks. No problem. Pero la, la N solo es N O, no es con T. Repeat. Es que hay un en la clase, ella uh -huh. colocó, yo no sé si que yo me confundí, porque cuando estábamos viendo los de negativo, espérate, te voy a. Um... Uh, so far, yeah, yesterday, yes, ah, yeah. sí, sí, sí. Eh, colocábamos they are no o sea sí. la no iba sin la t no sin la t ajá aquí porque es prop eh, proposition ¿cómo? no sé uh, como yo lo veo y puede que me equivoque es que el, el no es como que fuera afirmación o negación y este es porque lleva lleva eso porque es el preposition mm. pero eh, no me queda claro igual sería bueno que lo preguntemos porque sí tenés razón ayer puso esa palabra ajá yo me confundí en eso y yo no sé si seré que yo estoy viendo mal digo, no sé pero sí porque ahí y en este caso, cuando están dando las respuestas, dice, they are not. Es como que llevase, eh, abreviatura, llevase la, la T. Cuando Perfecto. yo digo, ajá, cuando yo digo, sí. Pero la teacher aquí está. Es que es como hacer forma. corta. Teacher. Es, hola, hola. Esa es de una forma más corta, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí, es que es como si puede contractar el are not, sí se puede. Pero, por ejemplo, cuando está haciendo una oración en negativa y dice no hay tal cosa, se vale también escribirlo there are no, sin la T. Oh. Ah, uh -huh. entonces oh. es, es correcto porque era una afirmación o negación. Bueno, negación. En y este es caso. una negación que no hay. Sí, ah, okay. sí se puede. O sea, es que eh, vaya en lo de la clase de ayer, es, es correcto entonces poner también they are not. Sí, sí, sí. Not. 
Sobre todo cuando lo hace contractado, como de aren't. Ajá. Ah, cuando es contractado, sí, se coloca Sí. la T. Cuando no es contractado, se puede colocar sin la T. Sí, sí, sí. Y cuando yo digo, por ejemplo, she's not, también este puedo decir sin la T. Ahí sí, ¿no? Solo es en este caso, en el de is, de la... Ah. Solo este es el que tiene como la excepción, digamos. como la excepción okay, okay. Bye. es como decir no money No money. Ah. Ajá. no business no house, no car No, no decimos not money. exacto Not money, si sí es cierto, si sí es cierto. como se dice no, o sea, no hay dinero no hay casa, no hay carro entonces es, es parecido pero en la salvedad de nada más cuando el there is it, there are Uh, ya con okay, nosotros no vale no siempre okay. en nosotros sí es obligación sí no. porque ahí estamos hablando de un sujeto de, de un verbo o de un auxiliar entonces ahí no uh -huh. auxiliar correcto. Ajá, correcto okay thank you teacher all right no okay. vaya entonces en la última Dice la oficina postal, está al lado. All right. We all finish. Continuous raining here, like cats and dogs. Oh, thank you for informing the training. Heavy rain, heavy rain. Thank God we still have electricity here. Well, How was the exercise? Do you have any question about the exercise? No questions? No question. It No was question. easy? A No refresh? easy, but no question. <laughs> no easy, but no questions. <laughs> okay, just to refresh the vocabulary, right? The first one was? Park. Second. Which one? Okay. Museum. Third one. Cinema. 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 Next. Castle. 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 Right. Police special. Police special. Police. Next. Supermarket. Supermarket. Okay, next one. It's cool. Cool. Wait, market, I guess I missed the letter A. School. Next one. Library. Library. Library, you know. Yes, thanks. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. So swimming pool. Next. Fire, fire station. Fire station. All right. And then you've got this. This. Look at the map. 
In answer, yes, there is. No, there isn't. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Is there a post office? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Yes, there is, right. Are there two cafes? Um, yes. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is there a sports center next to the cafe? No. 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 There no. Isn't. No. There isn't. There is. No. There isn't. All right. Are there two supermarkets? No. There aren't. No. There aren't. I'm just in one. No. There aren't. Is there a hotel next to the bank? Hotel yes. next to the yes, bank. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. I got this rain is terrible. Yeah. And last night it was raining, but right after the class. But even there were landslides here in a place called Montreal. There, there, there were some houses destroyed. Is there a park opposite the supermarket? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes there, is. there is. Yes, there is. Are there two parks? No. No, there are. No, there aren't. There's only there one, is. right? There are. There aren't. Is there a post office next to the hotel? No. No. There isn't. Yeah. There isn't. All right. Did you check your answers? Yes. Correct. So we got a 10. 10 out of 10. Teacher. Yes. I have 9 out of Why? 10. Because in the pool, I, I, I was in the pool. Not swimming pool. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's it's understandable, of course, if you know what you are referring to, just to say the pool. But to be more specific, it was the swimming pool. All right. My goodness, the rain. All right. As I mentioned at the beginning, this was just the introduction of this lesson. And of course, on the manual, you have two people, Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar Workplace, right? But I'm going to show it from the manual because here I just got one of the photos. Let me just share it from the video. Wait a minute. It was kind of hard for me to get both um both photos because they're kind of big. So here it says read the description of Mr. Bass and Mrs. Aguilar's workplaces. Can you guess where they work? Okay, Mr. Bass says there's a beautiful lobby, there are comfortable rooms. There's a huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. What place do you think it works? Uh -huh. In a factory? In an airport, hotel. In a hotel, most probably, he works in a hotel because there's a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There's a huge parking lot, and there are three high tech, high technology elevators. Right? Then Mrs. Mrs. Aguilar or Miss Aguilar. There is a narrow reception area. 
There are two dirty dining rooms. There's an ugly photocopy center. <laughs> there are small offices. Uh huh. Mm. What is her job? ¿Qué podría ser? Está rara la descripción. <risa> es que la descripción de un call center. Un call center, no, cabrón. No. La ofensa. No. <risa> All right. La descripción es totalmente un contraste con lo que acaba de decir Mr. Paz. Porque es una beautiful lobby. Comfortable rooms. Huge parking lot. High technology elevator, narrow reception area, dirty dining rooms, ugly photocopy center, a small office. Just in case he went, probably a school. Unfortunately, there are no conditions mm. working in some schools. Probably a factory. Factory. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there are no decent working conditions. All right. Pobrecita la misa saluda. I feel <laughs> sorry for her. <laughs> now you have this question. Read the information again and answer the questions. Compare with the partner. Vale, voy a dar chance para que piensen en las possible answers y después las puedan compartir con sus partners. Besides that, because it's raining too much.
Vaya, si quieres, practiquemos. También está Miguel. Hola, Miguel. Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. How are you? ¿Cómo están? Bien, bien. Ahorita aquí. Ya con sueño. Ya con sueño, la verdad. <ríe> Hola, hola. Queda muy confortable. Y que ella, she think it is very uncomfortable and dirty. Ah, que es el segundo. Es in incómodo y sucio. Ah, bueno. Así eh, lo describió eh. ella. Porque, what does Mr. Aguilar think about her workplace? Ah. ¿Qué ella piensa de, del lugar de trabajo? Según cómo lo describió. Ajá. She think, think it is very in, incomfortable and dirty. Ajá, es sucio. Ah, ok. Y, ajá, y, esa, y la, ter la tercera, ¿viste? ¿Hola? La, la, la última. ¿Cuál de los dos? Ajá, como los lugares, los dos, cual, cualquiera de los dos lugares de trabajo. Quisiera estar y por qué, algo así, ¿viste? Quieres trabajar. Mm, workplace. De Mr. Paz. Ah. Así va. Ajá. Ah, Mr. Paz, ajá. Ajá. Bueno, ajá, Mr. Paz, ajá. Bueno, ajá, Good que eso place. es. Uh, I clean a comfortable place. Un lugar confortable. Good place, sorry. Mr. Paz. Okay, entonces sería mis All right, everybody, return.
Yes. Actually, the rain is it's about to finish here. That's really cool. Okay, read the information again and answer the questions compared with the partner. How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? Uh -huh. Any possible answer? Yes. Anybody? He describes his workplace. Mm -hmm. uh, a place where there are comfortable rooms, mm -hmm. and beautiful, beautiful lobby, huge parking lot, and three high ditch elevators. Okay. Nice. He describes all that. In in summary, si no queremos resumir, lo describe como un lugar muy bonito y confortable para trabajar, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? So he mm -hmm. describes Better. his workplace as a beautiful and it's the best place of the world. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. The best place of yeah to work. Beautiful and comfortable place yes. to work. <laughs> yes. That's, that's a good place to work, can be. That's another possibility. Yes. All right. What does Mrs. Aguilar think about her workplace? Mm -hmm. she, think, she, she think that is a bad place. <laughs> <laughs> the conditions, right, are now yes. good. The, the place doesn't have good conditions to work. Or you can say she thinks that there are no uh proper conditions to work. Mm -hmm. That's another possibility. She describes as a bad place, as an ugly place to work. Right. And the last one. Esta creo que es más que obvia. <laughs> On which of the two places do you want to work and why? The first. And the first one, right? We all like good places, nice places, comfortable places. Mm. Because uh -huh. it has better, better working conditions. It has better working conditions. We all like... Uh -huh. It's very clean. It's a very clean place, yes. There is a huge parking lot, right? So it's so comfortable when you go to a place and you don't find a space to park. <laughs> and you're like, oh my God, where do I leave my car? So it's obvious, I think. And the other one, unless that you have a big crisis, probably you will accept the job there. But it's fine, no problem. Let's clear all the drawings I just made. And let's move on. Y por acá les presentan los adjectives. Algunos adjectives tienen connotación positiva, o sea que son good, positive characteristics, y otros que no son tan positive. Y aquí los presentan de esta forma. Comfortable, huge, nice, illuminated. And the opposite. Negative, narrow, small, disgusting, smelly. But this is something, yes, we got to work on. So never mind. So we're going to work on that on tomorrow's class. So today I just want to have one more exercise. I just have right here. 
Let me see. Mm, oh, wait a second. Yeah. I'm going to move this right here. Okay. My bad, my bad. I just want to return to the PDF because, yes, I just saw that we have to study this part as well. To use additives, okay, before now. So, ¿qué son los adjectives? Los adjectives son palabras que describen algo. Alguna cosa, algún lugar, alguna persona, right? So, generalmente, los adjectives están antes del noun que ellos describen. Por ejemplo, nosotros en español lo ponemos después, por eso tendemos a, a confundirnos, porque decimos, esa casa... Una casa pequeña, right? Pero en inglés decimos a small house. Yes, so we invert the order. Sorry. It says positive adjectives, negative adjectives. La connotación, el significado no es tan positivo, right? Comfortable, huge, aunque huge es un poco... Mmm, ¿Cómo le digo? Depende de la perspectiva. Sí. Un poco subjetivo. Porque si algo es demasiado grande, bueno, a veces no es tan favorable, right? Nice, illuminated, right. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places to rest. There is an illuminated training room. In the negative, there is a narrow reception area. There are small offices that are disgusting kitchen area there is a disgusting kitchen area and there is a smell of Liverpool usando las mismas digamos las mismas estructuras complete the sentences using the word provided so lo vamos a seguir prácticamente en los ejemplos right Obviamente hay que prestar atención si están en singular o plural para saber si there is o there are. ¿Cómo muevo esto por acá? ¿Ustedes se logran ver? Yes. Bueno, lo vamos a hacer sí. todos juntos. Don't worry. A small gym, singular o plural? Singular. Singular. Ok. There is or there are? There is. There is. There is. There is. Contractado? There's. There's. There's a? Small gym. A small gym. ¿Quién tiene un small gym en su trabajo? Nadie. No. <laughs> no. Solo alguien tiene una ping pong table. ¿Escucharon eso? Fuerte, fuerte. Sí. <laughs> Sí, somebody. Y nos confesó. Um, nosotros teníamos <risa> antes, pero yo le dije al director, quite eso de ahí, porque los niños de ahí quieren pasar. Y qué bulla hacen. No me dejan dar la clase en el computer al lado. Así que me hizo clase la quita. Aunque él era el que pasaba algo. Bueno. Insolentaba a los niños. All right, number two. Singular or plural? New training rooms. Plural. 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 So, there is or there are. There are. There are new training room. Training rooms. There are new training rooms. Training rooms are the rooms where you receive the trainings, right? New with technology, with AC, with electricity, beautiful lighting, and all that. Oh, the furniture, the tables, the chairs that should be new. So there are new training rooms. Nice. Number, another number two. That should be number three, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. There are. Plural. 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 Plural, right? There are. Clean. 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 
cafeteria. There are clean cafeterias. Very important, right? Because the place where you buy the food, where you eat, should be clean. Number four. Singular plural. Singular. There is. There singular. is. Singular, right? There, there is. is. Uh -huh. The smart. A smart mirror room. Smart. Smart. Where is smart? Es como con, con inteligencia, pero en este caso que tenga mucha tecnología podría ser un smart mirror room. Okay. Ajá, con pantalla para hacer este videoconferencia. Ajá. Presentation. Presentation. That's a smart room. Con Alexa y todo eso. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> con self Automatic lightning podría ser también, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Que se enciendan y se apagan ella sola. There's a smart meeting room. Ah, no, pero el de nosotros. Mm -hmm. Electronic room. Electronic with a lot of technology. That is a smart meeting room, right? Number five. Ay, esta está mal. Plural. <laughs> Plural. Está mal porque. Plus. Como la. No sé, el, el meaning de la palabra unpleasant es bien, bien negativo. Like, very negative. Unpleasant, there are, como desagradables, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Unpleasant bathrooms. No debería pasar eso. <laughs> there are unpleasant bathrooms. Aunque cuando son lugares así, digamos, en, un, ajá, en, una, en, en un lugar de trabajo, en una institución, generalmente se les llama restaurants, right? Because bathrooms are usually in the house where you can take a bath. But in these places where there are just toilets, so they're usually called restaurants. All right. And the last one, singular. singular. Yes, there is. There is, there is a, 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 a tiny, tiny, sorry, tiny, tiny cubicle. Eso sí, hace referencia al call center. <laughs> en un piso, en un floor, ¿cuántos, un aproximado de cuántos cubicles caben o hay? Mm. Like 200? 300. 300. Yes. OMG. Yeah. Focus, you say right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I know a lot of people who have a job because of call centers. Mm -hmm. Actually, the students, my students that graduate from the foundation, they usually get a job at a call center first. So they can pay for this with the university, they can help their families, they can get some economical independence. But tiny means muy pequeñito, right? Tiny. All right. ¿Alguna duda sobre los adjetivos y dónde se ubican? ¿Para qué sirven? ¿Qué otros adjetivos existen? Generalmente los adjetivos son palabras que tienen su opuesto, como big, Small, long, short, new, old, right? This is ugly. ugly, beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Good, bad. Y obviamente tienen connotación positiva o negativa. All right? Happy, unhappy. Sad. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> right. Por eso les decía, pueden describir cosas, personas, lugares, objetos, right? Okay, no questions? No questions. Seguros? Sure? All sure? All right. So, we're going to stop here. We're going to have the attendance and we're going to see each other tomorrow. The last class on this week, remember? Yeah. On this week. 
because on Friday you have to show your patriotism and go to march. No sé, ya no van a marchar. Ni a ver los desfiles. No. No anymore. Sleeping. It's a day off. Yes, it's a day off. It's a day off. Sleeping. Eat. Sleeping. And relaxing. And watching TV. Sleeping again. And watching movies and watching videos. For call center is not... It's not a holiday. Uh, no, it's not a holiday. You have to work. But yeah. for call center is double cash. <laughs> double pay. Yeah. You get a double payment. Double money. Double payment. Yeah. Yes. Only, only the... It's obligatory. Only holiday, only holiday the USA. Not the holidays from El Salvador. No. What? Yeah. Yes. No me parece. I don't agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, le vamos a, a, a llamar. Oh, my <laughs> boss. Yes, I know. Sorry, Nelson. Usted ponga a cantar el himno para ver qué hace. <laughs> <laughs> Usted saque la bandera. Uh. Ay, no. Ahora les dije a los míos que hicieran eso. Pues, ay, no. Es tan difícil uh. porque tienen que organizar un montón de cosas y todavía crear banderas y todo eso. Pero, de mañana nos toca el acto cívico. It's very, very tiring. I know. Bueno, pasamos uh -huh. la tendencia. Cristi, ya dejó de llover. Eh. <laughs> oh, okay. Present. Okay, All right, Christy, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Andrea, algunos ya se habían desconectado por la electricity o por el internet. No. Okay, Brian. Bye bye. Bye. Christian, Alexander. Ya se nos fue también David. Oh, David no se conectó, actually. Es que le agarró el tormentón. Doris. Doris, Doris. Ya se nos fue también. Teacher. Douglas. Good night, teacher. Good night. Stephanie. Good night. Good night. Francisco Javier. Good night. Good night. Gracias. Just gone, I think. Gone with the wind or gone with the rain. Hector. Ay, a Hector se le fue la electricidad de allá. Long gone. Okay, Joanna. Present. All right. Good night. Jose Antonio. Jose, Jose, también. Carla. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Laura. Present teacher. All right. Miguel Ángel. Nelson. Present teacher. Ricardo. Good night, everyone. Present. Good night, Wendy. Present teacher. And Wilber. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Bueno, la sesión de one on one le correspondía a. Uh -huh. Creo que es José Antonio, pero no está. Carla. Aquí estoy, teacher. Usted no ha pasado, ¿verdad? No. Vale, nos quedamos entonces con Carla y el resto nos vemos mañana. Good night. Okay, good night. See you later. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Sure, tomorrow Good is night. the last class. The last class this week, but the last last class of the module is no, next no, Monday. No, no, I think that. But uh, the tomorrow is the last class for this week. Mm -hmm. Also, also, el viernes no mate a class. No, it's a holiday. Okay. But we have the last class of the module next Monday. Okay. All right. Mother no close. The mother no close. <laughs> bye bye. Do Hi. you live around Soyapango? I live around Universidad del Salvador. 
but I work in San Antonio. Ah, uh, ok. Pero tengo como tres años de trabajar allí, así que siento que ya vivo. <risa> y como he ido... Yo llevo tres años solo encerrado en el aeropuerto también, ¿Eh? allá es mi primer casa. Me pasaba, en un curso anterior yo tuve un, un participante acá que vivía justo la cuadra de Empresas Ador. Me dijo, aquí vivo en la Florencia. Y yo, o sea, yo voy para allá y él le tocaba ir también carretera al aeropuerto porque trabajaba en una fábrica por el aeropuerto. Ah, sí, yo como a, do, a un minuto o a dos me queda caminando. Ay, sí, tengo varios estudiantes ahorita de ahí. Y, y la Hello, verdad es que es como, es, es como nuestro shortcut cuando hay mucho tráfico en plaza, no, no, nos vamos para allá. Vía alterna. Ajá, o tal vez por el cerro también para lograr bajar por la Matertec. Ajá, por la Santa Marta, creo que. Oye, me puedo todos los ritmos. <risa> bueno, <risa> good night, teacher. Good night. Vaya, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Hola, hola. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿me escucha? Sí, está lloviendo. Ah, muy bien, es que que acaba de empezar a llover, yo voy a buscar los audífonos. Sí, voy a buscar sí. los audífonos. Me imaginé, ¿cómo ha estado? ¿Cómo le ha parecido hasta ahorita el curso? ¿Cómo le ha ido? Fíjese que, mire, a mí me gusta el inglés, pero yo nunca había tenido pura la gana, quizás nunca había agarrado un curso así de lleno como ahorita, pero fíjese que mi problema es que como yo estoy de cero, entonces yo casi no entiendo. ¿Los ejercicios? Voy a abrir mi cámara. No, 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 no. ¿Y los ejercicios? Ajá, o sea, yo lo que... No, de hecho, los, los ejercicios a mí me gustan, fíjese, porque... Practica. Yo siento que, que me hago ejercicios, me gustan y siento que, que se me pasa rápido el tiempo. Y me gustan bastante porque son, son sencillos y, y siento como que le hay un poquito la lógica. Y le entiende. ¿Ah? Y le entiendo. Pues. Muy bien. Entonces a veces me da, un po, me da un poquito de pena cuando usted pregunta porque yo me... No, pero es que no, no tiene que preocuparse si se va a equivocar o no. O sea, Quedó así no como es que, participar. ¿Qué dijo, verdad? Ajá. Pero, pero la, la cosa es que yo no. Pero me ando buscando un lugar iluminado. No se preocupe. Yo no entiendo lo que usted, digamos, la indicación que ha dado, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces digo yo, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué dijo, verdad? Entonces a veces por eso no participo porque yo no he comprendido. Realmente siento como una hacer, ajá. Sí, con agarrar la idea, no hay problema. Porque yo valen mucho, porque yo tengo un poquito de conocimiento, pero digamos lo que yo aprendí en la escuela. Sí, pero no, no se preocupe, con agarrar la idea ya es suficiente. Que de eso se trata. Lo que yo estaba haciendo es que digamos de lo que. ¿Verdad? Sí. Ajá. Sí. Entonces yo le voy a... Eh, mira, a mí me gustaría, pero realmente me siento que le digo que... que... Sí. Voy a hacer algo, hacerme un bien. No, mal, me va a poner en otro grupo porque dice que este es más intensivo el que estamos ahorita. Porque dice que eso no, estas son dos horas y hay uno que es una hora. Y le digo, sí. no, pero es que entonces tampoco no me sirve. Le... Porque entonces, por gusto del esfuerzo que sea, no me dice, y lo que podemos hacer es reincorporar. 
colarla ya al número 3, me dice cuando ya usted. Así que en eso hemos quedado, pero no me ha confirmado todavía. Ya, muy bien. Bueno, la verdad es que hay que buscar la mejor alternativa, pero qué bueno que, que, que se ha sentido cómoda, que ha podido resolver los ejercicios. Sí. Y la, y la plataforma también la ha ido resolviendo. Sí, sí. Sí, ese, de hecho, le, ya la trabajé obteniendo porque yo ya trabajé en la plataforma. Muy bien. Sí, la felicito porque eso pues Normal. también le ya da... hice los ejercicios, entonces... Sí, eso también le da como más vocabulario y le da como más confianza también a la hora de, de la participación en la clase. Fíjense que me siento contenta porque siento que he aprendido palabras nuevas y ya estoy como identificando cosas que no entendía. Como sí, por ejemplo... Ya no de, tiene no, tanto no, miedo, ¿verdad? De decir las palabras. Ya no. Ajá. Muy bien. Ajá. Ya no siento que yo que lo dije. Ay. Esa palabra ya, me, ya sé qué quiere decir. Ya me... <risa> Se siente contenta cuando uno me identifica algo. Ajá. Es cierto. Muy bien. Está valiendo la pena. Sí. Porque no entienda todo, pero entienda aunque sea un poquito. Claro, pero de eso se trata, pues, de ir acumulando ahí el vocabulario, el conocimiento, las estructuras, practicando, porque sí, se requiere mucha práctica. Sí, y también de memorización, ¿verdad? Porque sí. hay bastantes cosas que hay que aprendérselas. Hay que recordarlas, si no, ¿cómo? Si no las tiene en la memoria, ¿cómo las va a utilizar o cómo las va a decir? Sí. Así es. Bueno, muchas gracias por participar en la sesión de One on One. Creo que nos vamos a quedar hasta acá por lo de la lluvia, que se está complicando un poco la conexión. Hola, hola. Hola. Se fue, se fue el Inter por un momento. <ríe> es que está lloviendo bien fuerte. Sí, está. Y aquí también ya empezó. Sí. Bueno, le decía que le agradezco muchísimo. No sé si le gustaría agregar algo más. Y no, solo agradecerle, ¿verdad? Y, y ahí... Y como le digo, disculpame con usted que eso, porque yo no he comprendido al 100%, pero muy bonita su clase, muy interesante, mm -hmm. no es nada aburrida. Gracias, gracias, no, a ustedes, la verdad, un gusto. Y vamos a acabar, como le digo, y, y agradezco pues el tiempo que usted se toma. Y que a veces usted pregunta algo y todos nos quedamos así conmigo, ¿viste? Pero es por eso. No, no se preocupen, yo entiendo. Si sé que es nivel uno. Sí, bueno. pero que nos podamos volver a encontrar en otro módulo. Más adelante. Sí, primero Dios que sí. Cuídense mucho. Pase feliz noche. Feliz noche, Peter. Cuídense. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.